Hey guys, so something different about this video, I'm actually standing up. I don't know why, I just felt like it. Uh, so, in this video I'm going to show you some of the things that I've seen on the internet that have quite entertained me this week and see what you think and show you my views on it and you can post below to show me what you think and what I think and then we can all think together and have a frenzy of thinkingness. Go! You laughed at that, you are going to hell. So I don't know who I feel bad for. Do you feel bad for the guy? Do you feel bad for the girl? Because in a way the girl shouldn't have got in the way. The guy was just enjoying getting his game on and then slap. <laughs> I've played Dance Central. I know how involved you can get in with Connect. But I'm also thinking, like, this could be a reason for like a spate of child abuse cases, pet abuse cases, domestic abuse cases. People can just be like, well I was playing Connect and they just got in my way and I was like, BAM! In England we have a show called X Factor which is basically the British version of American Idol mixed with America's Got Talent. And this week we got a lovely guy. You're going to see him now. But no one wants to turn their life around more than our next contestant. My name's Bradley Johnson, I'm 16. So I'm just, um, I've just finished my GCSEs at school. Uh -huh. Oh, he seems like a lovely guy, doesn't he? Well done, Bradley. Whether I'm going to college yet, I don't know, because academically I'm not really a school person. I wonder why. Has he got autism? <clears throat> Has he got Asperger's? Oh, this poor kid. He's not going to go to college. What is this going to happen to him? Oh, tears. When I was 12 years old, I got in with scallies and thugs and... Oh, right. Hey, I've been expelled from school. Oh, have you? Yeah. When well, you say school, look, school or yeah, schools? Yeah, school, three schools and... Um... You've been expelled from three schools? Yeah. What the hell, Dermot? What is wrong with you? You've got special needs. Three schools? Does he need to say it again? Three schools? Oh, let's have a replay just to help Dermot, shall we? Hey, I've been expelled from schools. Oh, have you? Yeah. When well, you say school, look, school or yeah, schools? Yeah, schools, like three schools and... Um, You've been expelled from three schools? Yeah. 13, I got kicked out of my first school and then when I was 14, I got kicked out of my second school. One a year, that's not too bad. I'm guessing his parents are quite proud with him. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. If this kid had had a few more of these... <laughs> ...when he was at school, he wouldn't have turned out such a tool. But as his parents didn't have Connect, and Connect wasn't available in those days, then they couldn't have used it as an excuse for the child abuse. Mum and Dad split up, and I was confused and stuff like that. I was like, drinking on the streets, getting arrested by the police. Now, can, can we just take a moment to observe Gary Barlow's face in this picture? Uh, he, he looks like a kid in a sweet shop. I just don't get why he's so happy that he's got like a bullying douchebag on the telly. What's your name? And just for Dermot, we're going to find out again. How many schools exactly did we get expelled from, Dermot? I got in a bit of trouble at school and stuff, but... What happened at school? I got expelled from three schools. I got expelled from three schools. Bradley, I think you're very brave. I think you're very honest. And you've got great likability. Oh, so he's very brave. He's very honest. He's got great likability. If I'd have known the bullies got that recognition at school, I'd have been a complete tool as well. Except I'm carrying a bit of a podge. People with podges don't generally be bullies, but yeah. What the hell was that? and at nearly 10 centimetres, that's not surprising. It's about the length of an iPhone. Not wrong, but I wouldn't. What would you do with the tongue the length of an iPhone? Or more disgustingly, the world's largest cock. The world's largest what? Roach. Oh, cock roach. You had me worried for a mini ITV there. It's multi-purpose too. Uh, multi-purpose? I wonder what this girl's doing with her tongue. Mm. I can touch my nose. 
which to me is really no big deal. Um, I can't demonstrate because I don't have it, but the yogurt, I could um, eat a yogurt without a spoon. Of course, getting yogurt out, that is exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, so imagine having a tongue that alone. That would be amazing. That would solve all the problems in the world, wouldn't it? You could get yogurt out, you could get soup out, you could get all of you. Do you know the flurries when they have like the syrup in and it's really difficult to get out? Not a problem anymore. Not for her. And I can't help but thinking, if this guy had a girl like this, he wouldn't be so frustrated and smacking his kids, would he? Okay guys, this has been a quick video. I've put a bit more thought into this one than previous ones. Uh, I'm still working on the quantum physics one that I've done. I just need a bit of a faster computer to like get everything together because all the effects are like slowing down my system plus I haven't got much good lighting to do stuff. Uh, crack lighting, crack lighting, crack lighting. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon. Enjoyed doing this one. Hope you enjoy it. Comment, rate, subscribe, favourite, like, enjoy! Betcha!